Good afternoon ladies and welcome to New Arrivals part two with the Sakana reveal. Oh my god Don, I won't believe this. We've bloody done it again. What? I haven't turned the sound up on the phone. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that ladies. Right, okay, let's start again. <laughs> we were just saying that once we tidied this room up, we're gonna make a list and um, put lights where they should be and work out how to do it all. And properly. we'll have a checklist before we go live. We... Sound up, <laughs> makeup like, on. Like we used to when we did the yep. pop-up shops, yep. we checklist. had a checklist against the door so that we didn't leave without anything and that's what we need for this. But anyway... Ooh, Paddy's watching. Don't say anything about your children. Paddy's watching. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> Do you miss your mummy? Mummy's going to go now. <laughs> right, uh, so new arrivals, Sakana. Paddy, ladies, as you know, came home uh, about 18 months ago for his three weeks vacation and, bless him, got caught up in COVID. So he finally left home about two weeks ago. He's living in Cambridge and I hope he's having a ball. Um, so it's lovely for him to see me, even if I can't see him. Sakana, new arrivals. Donna hasn't seen them. They're in this box. And we're going to get these out once we've whistled through what we've got on the rail. We couldn't actually do a reveal for the signature delivery or the Pomodoro delivery that we've had because we had to get stuff on the shop floor for the opening. So we're coming early this week because Donna's on her way to Conway. So I hope she has a fabulous time. How long are you going for, Donna? I'm going just under a week. And is the sun shining? I hope so. I no, don't know. No, I haven't no, looked. No. Anyway, that's where she's off to. And then next Monday and Tuesday, I'm having a couple of days off. And then it is full head on into autumn, getting stuff online, regular weekly styling videos, because we are beginning to settle into our new home. So thank you very much indeed to everybody who's uh, sent us cards and bought us flowers. We've had another couple of poses today. Um, and it's just been great to see everybody who's popped in to see how we're getting on. I'm going to start with blouses. So we have here a gorgeous jersey blouse from Urfo which um, I managed to do a deal on. It is online, it's 100% cotton, and I'm gonna bring it up to camera to see if you can see the pattern, Donna. Uh, yes, I can. And I was just having a quick look to see availability because I've sold three of those in the past two days. Right. So I was just checking availability. Okay, so we can't repeat on these ladies. Right. So um, if you do want it... We've got 112, on. 214, 116, an 18 and a 20 left. Right, okay. Yeah. So this is one where um, we need to tell you to grab it now. No 10s, no 10s and only 112 left. Right, and the other thing, ladies, that you do need to crack on and buy, and I should have grabbed one. You couldn't just grab yeah, a grace, grab could you? Yeah. Donna's going to go and grab the grace that we're talking about. Um, they, they've run out of stock in Tunisia. They might have cloth at some point in the future, but we haven't got any cloth behind this particular grace. So this is the white grace with the beautiful botanical print it's online and it is free. I think these are £69. Now we've got cloth behind the blue and we've got a chrysanthemum print coming into the country later this week. But ladies, if you've had your eye on this shirt, do not hang around. You need to buy these no. quickly. It has been, it has sold really well. The, yeah. the white one has sold better than the blue one so far. But I think it's and it is 69. In season, yes. It? Once we move yeah. into proper, proper autumn, yeah. then the blue is more, it's got more autumnal colours in it. So don't shilly shally with this shirt, ladies. If you love it, grab it now. Now, this is in store and online. Now I'm going to take you on to the last thing that actually we have got, oh no, we've got 
got two more things that you'll find on the website. And then we're going to move on to items, ladies, that will be going online if we repeat, can repeat, um, and can get the stock behind it. This is online. You've seen the uh, navy version of this and you have seen the silver version. It's the crew neck jumper from Signature and it has the button detailing on the sleeve. It's a very, very popular jumper, but again, we can't repeat on any colours. So this is the black. They're £40. So if you want silver or black particularly, you need to nab them now. We've already run out of smalls in silver. Um, I can get stock on the navy at the moment, but black and silver, we're getting low on stock. So if you want these, again, grab them. So that's our pressure selling over, ladies. You know we don't do this until we are getting very, very short of stock. We try really hard not to push you into buying things, but if you love these, you need to grab them soon. Now, I'm moving on to Pomodoro new arrivals. Um, Donna's going to come on and um, do the Sicana reveal once we've been through the few pieces that are on this rail. If you're watching, ladies, and there is something that you want Donna and I to pop on today, um, that's not part of the reveal. So for example, this dress from Pomodoro, if you just comment below, you need to do it before Donna does the reveal because once we turn the camera around, as you know, we can't see what you're saying. So if you see anything that you quite fancy, say so before the reveal so that Donna can make a note. And then if we have time, one of us will try it on for you once the reveal is finished. So. Lots of you love the Spirograph overshirt that we sold out of very, very quickly in the summer. This is the version this autumn. It's slightly longer. It has the high-low hemline, so the back is about two inches longer than the front. It has ruching around the waist. It's a button through. It's not empire line, but it's got quite a high waist. So this is a flattering mm. cut and it has its own little cami underneath. Now this would look perfect now with Birkenstocks, you know, or sandals. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous late summer dress, but it will look equally as fabulous with opaques in the winter. And if you like wearing short Chelsea boots, I know you do, Donna, with dresses. Yeah, yeah, I do, you? yeah. It's not really my thing because I've got child catcher legs. <laughs> but, you know, or you, I would wear this with knee-high boots. The, so, other, the other way I'd wear that, or, well, it would look good, because it's buttoned through, um, as an overshirt, yeah. as like a dust jacket, that'd look great with jeans. Yes. So actually, over what you're wearing yeah, now, no, no, as as a no yeah, enough. as an yes. overshirt, that would be so a double whammy. You get a dress and an overshirt yeah. in one uh, one hit. Yeah. These are uh, Fran Fran is saying yes, please to the blue dress. What the this this blue dress? You want me to try this on or Sarah to try it on? What height are you? Do you want to see somebody five foot in it, Fran, or do you want to see? Am I trying them on? I'm trying them well, on. No, it depends. Yeah, just, okay. Who, who yeah. Got the oh, size 16. Okay, right, we'll go with that then, yep. Fran. Okay. Thank if you, Fran. If we've got time, if not, we'll do dressing up some other day. I'll do dressing up this week and Donna will do it when she gets back. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So this is online. It's from Pomodoro. It's the Python Hilo dress. It's £99. And we will uh, whistle a 16 on later. Probably will be over jeans, Fran, I'm afraid. But yeah. at least it'll give you the idea. Fran's 5'6". Right, so, okay. Yep. So this is another little bit of gorgeousness from Pomodoro. It's, again, uh, a leopard print. And as we know, leopard is a neutral. It took me many, many years to wear leopard and it's got nothing to do with Bet Lynch. It's because I'm an Essex girl <laughs> and I just thought that it was just, you know, it's just that joke, isn't it? That yeah. um, Essex girls have orange legs and wear leopard. But I do wear it now. I love it. Um, it's a little uh, viscose uh, chiffon. It's got a puff sleeve detail and the sleeving is ruched into the um, sleeve line. 
I know usually we would have tried things on by now ladies but again we've just been so busy that this season we're a bit late in trying things on and I'm just going to take this off the hanger and I'm going to turn it inside out because what I want to do is I want to show you that although it's got a, it's not got a full cami in it it has a cami at the front oh so there's like a little cami so it's sheer at the, the front but so it's sheer, sheer at the at back. back oh god i like that at the front yeah so that's where people yeah feel somebody so asked insecure. for me to try that on please <laughs> <laughs> go well, on I, who wants to see me try that on mel my friend mel she's my size mel do you want me to try that on <laughs> <laughs> so we have the same little blouse but this is in i think this is called the camel i've just shown you the gray this is the camel leopard sleeve part leopard puff sleeve blouse from pomodoro not online not sure how much stock lies behind these they're both 62 pounds so ladies <laughs> if you want these you need to nab them now donna's catching. oh and michaela's saying try it on donna oh okay michaela <laughs> <laughs> if i must <laughs> And this is the same principle, it's got the built-in cami, it's got the ruching on the sleeve, it's got a puff leg, basically this is an old-fashioned leg of mutton sleeve. But there's a lot, a few of the items that are new stock in the shop at the moment, sleeve detail. Yeah. So sleeve it's detail, still, yeah. I mean, look, sleeve detailing is one of it, it was big two years ago wasn't it last year yeah sleeve but we but there's a few items with puffy away. puffy sleeves yeah no about. i just yeah. think the sleeve detailing is very very in yeah. um and you know it just hasn't gone anywhere i think it continues to be a very very strong trend and um, this one is actually called the confetti puff sleeve blouse it's the same price 62 pounds I think we've got them in 8 to 16, but I'm not completely sure because, as you know, we are the most organised people on the planet. Just hold it up against button those jeans. Button detailing at the back. So you button up at the back. It looks really good with stonewashed jeans. Just so those are your stonewashed jeans. And yeah. these, shouldn't, these aren't officially stonewashed jeans. These are well, gardening jeans. This, <laughs> Sarah brought the wrong jeans, in. but they do look stonewashed. So, yeah, that's a really good uh, with those jeans. stained as well, just in case you want to... I mean, like dirty stains, just stains that they've gathered over the years. These ladies are my original 1913 jeans. So these jeans must be eight years old mm -hmm. now. And the only reason they've been downgraded to gardening is they do have a few very grim stains lurking here. And also the cat uh, pulled them. Well, the cat's been dead for five years. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I digress. Three beautiful blouses. You must comment, ladies, if you want to try them, if you want us to try them, if you want to buy them, give us a call on 01760 724948 or email sales at artichokecollection.co.uk. They are on my list of things to do, putting them online this week, but the reality is it's probably going to be... But if you're week. local, they're on the shop floor. These are on the shop floor. Everything that I've shown you from Pomodoro so far is on the shop floor. We're just moving over to a little popover from Signature. Tank tops, as we're all having a 70s moment, are the thing of this season. If you want to buy one garment to bring you absolutely on trend, ladies, it is a tank top. Tank top and puffy sleeves. Tank top we, and puffy, puffy sleeves. <laughs> tank top and shirts. Yeah. I mean, they are great. Yeah. And actually, it's something that I've been looking for, I would say, for about four or five years now. Crew used to do little tank tops, but the moment I decided I wanted one, they stopped doing them because I just think they look great. Because right over a t -shirt, because over I'm a such a hoarder, I have two tank tops that I've had for about twenty years. Oh my god, you'll have to get them. Because I am a down. I am a clothes hoarder. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Karen, try the tank top. Which colour would you like me to try on, Karen? The pale blue or the black? The black would look better on me. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, Karen, the pale... Is it a pale blue or grey? Well, it's like a bluey grey. It's a bluey grey. 
it. Yeah, it if you like wore that gray. with grey, it would look grey. If you yeah. wore it with blue, it would look blue. Yeah. But I think, Karen, the blue would look good on you. Yeah, so here mm. you are. Yeah, she said blue. Yeah. From Signature. Now, we're just going to... Finally, all oh, glass is gone. Finally move on to um, the last of the Pomodoro uh, items. These are not quite on the shop. Oh, yes, they are as of today, aren't yes, they? Yes, yep, these out yep. today. Not hung, they're just on a table. And these are uh, from Pomodoro. I'm going to bring them up close to camera so that you can see the abstract pattern on them. It's like a bronzy, goldy colour. Yeah, isn't bronze it? and black. Gorgeous, bronze and gorgeous black, gorgeous really trousers. lovely. It's called ab abstract print. We haven't quite got round to trying them on, no. but what size is this? Uh, this is a 10, so obviously too small for me in the waist, but going down my leg line, I think these are going to be quite skinny. Mm. I think these are going to be fabulous, actually. I think I'm going to try a pair of these on. Now, ladies, you know we all joke about the fact that we have lots and lots of identical things in our wardrobe because we're drawn always to the same things. Well, when I'm buying, I photograph absolutely everything and I do not buy a thing until I've viewed all the collections. And the reason I photograph everything is not just to prompt me a year later, but actually because I end up otherwise buying the identical thing. So these are from two separate collections. They're not identical because I took my photographs, but look how similar they are. This is from Signature, I'm gonna get a brand text. I'm gonna to come to it in a minute. But obviously when I was buying for this winter, I had a little bit of a thing about this pattern. So um, yeah, that's why I take my photos is so that I don't end up with five pairs of trousers from different brands. The tank so tops, exactly the yeah, the tank tops, Liz, are forty pounds. Yeah, and they're from size small to extra large. Now this is a casualty of COVID. These didn't even get on the shop floor last year. They came from um, Stark, and actually they were so late that we decided to hang on to them for this year. They've just got on the shop floor. We have, I think, one and a bit runs, and I think we've sold two pairs already. They have fabulous zip detailing at the bottom, and they are a super stretchy faux leather trouser. You love them, but decided the zips were too, were too I, long. I the love zips. them, but they're too long for me. Yeah. If those were a seven eighth with the zip still in place and the seven eighth, they'd have come home with me, but they're too long. And yeah. I love them. Yeah. I, you know, if, if there's a 12 length. Yeah, but they'll be the right length on you. Yeah. 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 Now, remember with Stark ladies, um, you need to uh, probably stick to your own size, is what I would say to you. Uh, about the Stark jeans. These these are actually coming up fairly true to size. They won't be going online because I haven't got any photography. So we are going to start playing dressing up. But um, if you go, week. if you're between sizes, I would go to the h larger size, size with them, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. But we can measure them up. Annie, actually... Annie bought, bought some. You bought the, yes, some of those? Yes, she did. Yes, Annie so did a them. Annie, did you stick to your size? Did you buy true to size and how's the fit? She looked fab in them. She looked really, yeah? really Yeah, and she bought, she bought her true size. Yes. Right, yeah, okay, I'm there sure you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She looked absolutely gorgeous in them. So we're going to do dressing up next Thursday, uh, ladies, and I'll probably be wearing that. We've got no idea really what we're going to do yet, but we will have a plan by next Thursday. I'll be wearing these as part of what I'm doing, so you'll be able to see them. But you will not be able to buy these online, ladies. So again, what length are they? Uh, Hillary's asking what length they are. I would say they're about a 29. Yeah, there you, you go. Look at the numbers, skinny zip. No, they haven't got a length on them. About 29 inches, I would Annie, say. Annie, you came into the shop. Did on Annie Friday, come into the shop on Friday? And so did Deborah. Are you on holiday in. in uh, no, I'm just being nosy. Are you on holiday? They've been racing in Snatterton. Ah. Snatter their husbands have racing cars. Oh, fantastic. Plus racing cars. And they nipped over here. It was lovely to see Brilliant. you. Brilliant. I'm so sorry. We've been so busy today. We haven't had time to gas, have we? So we haven't no. caught up. Right. Now we're moving on to Signature. We've never bought uh, 
trousers from Signature and we're going to confuse you now because we call everything that comes from this company Signature that actually there are th four collections. There's Brandtex, there's Signature, there's uh, Copenhagen B and something else. Yeah. And what I'm going to do today because uh, or this season because I know we're confusing people by calling everything signature is when I put them online I am going to split them out into the separate brands okay um, in the same way that we call everything Barilocci and it's Tinter and Tintin Barilocci and so I'm going to split them out yeah. these actually ladies are from Brandtex and I know a lot of you love Brandtex trousers which is why we decided to go slightly off message combined with the fact that I didn't get out to Germany to buy from Stark this winter I thought you know just to ring the changes which is what we normally do with Stark we'll have some um, Brandtex trousers uh, so that they, we've got something slightly different from um, Stamen and from mm. Anna Montana now I have tried the samples on in these when we, when we buy from samples, they're not always spec correctly, so I don't want to lay my life on them, this, but I think they're fairly true to size. Mm. So um, this is a size 10, and if we go up to my waist, mm. it is a size 10. It's just a bit too small. And they look quite long. They are, I would say, about 30. 31 inch, 30, 31 inch. 31, I, I, I would have said 32 31. 32 centimetres, which I think is about 31. Yeah. They're super, super stretchy. So these yeah. are going to be incredibly comfortable. But as most of the trousers that we're getting at the moment, they are going to be quite skinny. We were hoping to get our wide leg jeans in uh, this autumn, but mm. realistically, I think it's going to be um, late winter, so after Christmas. What size do those start at? So these start at a 36, so they start at a 10. So start at a 10. To an 18. They're 75 quid. We haven't actually tried them on, so we no. don't know how true to size no. these are. Been a bit but busy. <laughs> Now, I've seen somebody in these actually know, oh, I told you who came in and tried these on and now my mind's gone a blank. No. But anyway, the person who came in and tried them on, she knows who she is. She looked gorgeous in them. She doesn't like very close-fitting trousers, So, but she looked fab. I would have had them if I looked that good in them. Um, again, they're from Brandtex. Again, they've got the zip, the fly, the pockets, but these are... A lovely soft and very stretchy jersey now we've got lots of ladies who loved our Ronya jersey trousers from Stark but because I couldn't get them this year then I decided to go with these Brandtex ones which are actually slightly cheaper than the Ronya the Ronyas were retailing at about 79 and these are 65 I think there may well be stock behind the Brandtex trousers not online we have them in navy we have them in black and again i think that i'll be wearing these next week when we play dressing up now we've had this gorgeous tote delivered which i love i absolutely adore this 30 pounds ladies it's a sort of material i think it's canvas it's this this is solid it's got cardboard in it mm, it's a bit trouble inside trouble, it's got a big pocket here, which I don't think you can see because it's black and, and that can be zipped. So it has got quite a large internal uh, pocket and you're right, this would be a great overnight bag, wouldn't it? It would be a very good overnight bag and I was looking at it thinking... That's the kind of bag I need for when we're playing dressing up as well, I'm throwing my, my basket. Stuff. I've been bringing for the past couple of years since actually, COVID dressing you know up. What? That my, would be great for dressing up. It would. It? My basket has, uh, that's it, I'm not using it anymore. Did you notice it was overflowing? So my basket has uh, retired from our dressing up, playing dressing well, up wardrobe. And do you know what else this would be really good for? Mm. Now that all the independent shops like us are having to charge oh, for, for bags. a bag, yeah. this is a really, really Really stylish bag to go shopping, shopping with, with yeah. it? you yeah. know yeah I know it's a it's a it's a sort of shopping bag but it's a shopping bag that you wouldn't mind being seen in public with mm. would you I mean I think this is great they're not online yet they're 30 pounds again if your life is incomplete without them 
message us and we'll get one organised sent in the post. For example. How much are those? These. These are 30 quid. 30 quid. So they're, they're really nice bags, yeah. actually. Now we're on to boots. Now, I've ordered my boots. My boots have arrived. The only thing is, I haven't got any prices for them. And I can't get hold of the agent today to find out. But I would imagine these are going to be a similar price to, oh, actually, to the ones I've got on. These are very, I think they might even be the black version of So these. they're by fab and they're ultra comfy ultra and then comfy. on their, their really price range is, is good. Yeah. Quid, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think these were under £50. This mm. is the camel version. We've still got a few of these left from last year. We've got a black version for this year. And we've also got this cowboy boot which is to mid-thigh. So I think both Donna and I are going to try this on once we've done the reveal, or indeed if something pops up. I think I slipped my foot in it, and that is a 36, which is... No, that's a 37, so that's a 4. Yeah. So uh, you remember how fab a lot no, of people no, go no, down no, a size? Yes. So they are generous fit, they fits, are is what I'm saying. So I am, I'm a, I'm a th three and a half, and in this boot, I would definitely need a three. Yeah. And I yeah. actually, I think these were forties. Right. And um, I can't really wear socks in them. A, because they're too wide for me, mm. and it just means my, my foot slips forward. But because I love them so much, I just wear them without socks. But I would say normally I'm a forty-one. Yeah. And there's oodles of space. In the foot, and you're in the 40. In the 40. Yeah. Unless, of course, you've got very wide feet, in which case you probably need to stick to your size mm. for the width. So, I think we have whistled through all the new arrivals. It is now, ta -da! Time for the Cicada reveal. Right. I'm going to move these out of the way. Do you want to whistle the camera round um, and come and join me? Right. So hold on. Bear with me. Sorry, this will be shaky for a moment. What no, am I doing? I know oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm doing it wrong. I need to press a button to do it, don't I? No, no you go over there and right. I'll sort out the technology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do technology. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Right, let's twizzle it round and then we have... Can you see yourself, Donna? Um, not until my specs are on. Uh, no, this way a little bit. Hang on, I can come over. Right. Are we there? Okay, we're good. We're are we good. we good? Yeah. yeah? Good. Can I get in there too? Yeah, you can go there. Right, ladies, we are now officially squizzled, and I'm just, you can't do that, but I've got something here. This, ladies, we're now going to show you something I made earlier. Right, let me get this out of here, because I have hung it, but we didn't have any covers, so I had to hide it in a box. Oh, and right. here we go. Ta da! This, ladies, is this season's Sukana. Do you want me just to talk quickly about it or do you want to just whistle through? No, you talk while I have a look. Right, now. so predominantly here we've got jersey. Virtually oh. everything apart from this is jersey because we're getting our um, own shirts made in uh, Tunisia at the moment. We didn't need any cotton shirts. So what I've done is I've concentrated, isn't that fab? I, I did think of you when I was buying it. Yep. I've concentrated with Sikana on Jersey. So Donna's already grabbed something and is trying it on. This is the, a dress. It's part of, um, it's part of a three piece mini Let collection. Let's get the box out of the way. So but bear in mind that I've got it over jeans. Right, so this is, oh, that's the small. It. This is the small. And it's I good. am five foot and a size eight. It feels like it's clinging to my boobs, is it? Will no, I need to go oh, No, I don't think you will. It's because you've got your no. jeans and you've I've got, got a t-shirt I've got a thick t-shirt on underneath, yes. And I can't really see. I can't <laughs> see a thing, even with my specs. Right, if, oh, and it's pockets. You look lovely. Yeah. This lo it feels lovely. And look, the sleeves fit. Yeah. Oh my God, the sleeves fit. Colours lovely. Just covering my knee. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. Very nice. Let me see how much this is. Um, neckline is perfect. 
Very good neckline. 90 pounds. Lovely. Now, I know with Sukarna that we're not able to get um, much more stock in. So again, ladies, with this reveal, if you see something, nab it. Mm -hmm. Message, comment us, uh, because um, I checked before I did the reveal to see if there was more stock availability, and it's very, very limited. We've gone from one extreme to another. Last year, because we were locked down, People couldn't get rid of stock. This year, because they were putting their collections together during the end of almost a year of lockdowns worldwide, nobody has taken any risks. So there is very limited uh, stock availability. Mm -hmm. The other thing you have to remember, ladies, is that although we're happily double jabbed in this country, the rest of the world isn't. And um, I know many of you are waiting for jeans from us at the moment. Um, and there are huge issues with production in Morocco at the moment. Now, the Angelica Magic Stretch, the 1975, we have a delivery. Actually, it's probably in the UK at the moment. It's clearing customs. So we have got a delivery of the 1975 coming through. If you want jumping jeans in dark blue or stonewash, there's still no stock in Germany. So I've emailed Germany to ask when we can expect delivery again, but I will be telephoning those of you who've got jumping jeans on black or back order to see if you wanna hang on. If you want jumping jeans in dark, in dark blue or stonewash, ring us ladies and get your name in the book so that as soon as they arrive, we can send them out to you. We do, however, have colours as an alternative at the moment, so we can get nougat, coffee and grey out to you. We have got some black and we've got black coming to us. So that's a quick jeans update. So this has got the thumbs up. Well, one observation that I think um, I ought to say, I'm very short in the body and these pockets are quite high up. Look, they're fairly high. Um, if you're really long in the body, I'm not sure where the pockets are going to be. Do you, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. So I think, and also, but if you're really long in the body, it'd probably be too short. I think this... Is, this is it, like five foot four and under. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's perfect for um, uh, shorties. Yes. Yeah. And actually, if Claire, not, this one, if Claire, oh, this is watching, Claire. this might be for Claire. And this is actually, for those of you who love this print, but are not five foot four. Ah, so yeah. this is the same print, yeah. gorgeous weight, jersey trousers, but this is definitely a 31 inch leg. It's got a zip and a fly. I love these. I think these are coming home with so me. So I've just looked and the material is viscous polyester and it has some elastic in it. So look, it has got that a stretch. It. It's, it's gorgeous. So these are 77 pounds. These are the jersey trousers. These are going to look fabulous with oversized jumpers or very neat jumpers. These are just going to look lovely with everything. And it's a good weight. Can I just whistle the it. last one in this little collection? Yep. So this is the little t-shirt. It's actually got buttons down the back. So it, it buttons down the back. It's a very pretty shape. Again, I think this would look great with jeans. Yep. Yep. Absolutely yep. great with jeans. A nice heavy weight. This jersey, ladies, is going to see you through the winter. You know, it's going to be warm, isn't it? That, um, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that when we do our trying on with the um, jumping jeans, what are they called? N not nougat. Uh, coffee. Coffee. The coffee. coffee. The coffee jeans. Yeah. And this would go with terracotta. I've just, it's got a cuff that I've just turned back. Okay, this is a gorgeous top. It's coming in at £59. Oh, that cuff's nice. Yes, isn't it yeah, pretty? The cuff finishes it off. Nicely. So this is just a little yeah. story that I put together. So if I try that on, if I wear that next week, you will see me with a little uh, Peter Pan collar underneath it. I wouldn't wear it with ju as just this neckline. It's, a, it's the wrong neckline for me, but I would wear it with one of our... Um, Peter Pan and collars. collars underneath. Right, so Donna's picked her dressing up garments for next week. You're now in one right. of the three, so, three 
jersey blouses. So these are all the same and I've picked up the one that I thought would look um, better colour wise on me. Don't like that colour on me. Um, don't like that colour on me. This is the colour that works, I received. But they? they're all the same. And they are £69. So that those ladies new. that like a jersey shirt, so everybody that I've sold this to, so this again, this Urfo is jersey, you leave the house. If I wear a jersey shirt, I, I go home at the end of the day still looking as I looked when I left the Just house. nice and fresh. If I wear yeah. my shirt, my pale blue um, Tallulah shirt, which I love, I go home at the end of the day looking a crumpled mess. I look, I'm one of those people, by the end of the day, I just look a hideous mess. So this is, this material is perfect for me. And actually this is a good fit on you, bearing in yeah. mind that you've got a vest on underneath. I've got a vest on, I've got quite a thick vest on They probably are yeah. true to size. Yeah, and they uh, tuck in. Yeah. yeah, so I think these are probably, you know, a small is an eight, a medium is a yeah. ten. Mm. Uh, 10 12 large is 12 14 we'll get the sizing sorted out for you ladies yeah but they're great and, and again you could wear it open. open yeah you could wear it that, how nice is that open like that yeah that is really there we gorgeous go. so the last bit before donna tries on her little jumpery thing is this pleated skirt are you going to wear that or am i going to well, wear it well I would put that jumper with that pleated there you are. skirt. No, I don't. I think I think we're too near the lights. I think we've really screwed this video up again. Can you see? I, I think we might have to turn the lights off and go into the dark. I would put that skirt. right. So this is the pleated skirt. I just got this because pleated skirts again are another trend that's coming through this winter. You can wear them with your Chelsea boots. Um, it's a nice weight. This is a nice, nice warm weight. Um, just will look great in the winter this would be a great skirt for christmas day actually and whatever you're doing this winter it's just really lovely color that will cheer you up now donna's put on this now guess oh my what this god is i just love it i just yeah. love it it feels it feels like a baby don't tell me it's made from a baby rabbit because no. it feels like a baby rabbit it feels like angora it is a hundred percent nylon oh my god it honestly <laughs> honestly it feels just like a baby rabbit yeah it's it's a, it, it's, it's lovely absolutely lovely gorgeous. yeah love it and it's slouchy you know i love that slouchy look and so this just, is a small gorgeous. this is a small it's a funnel absolutely neck gorgeous. So, um, yeah, this so this skirt great. is elasticated. I'm going to try it on. I'm going to be really brave. I'm going to put it over my jeans. I'm going to try it on. If it, sorry, trip over. I don't, um, long elasticated skirts, unless I wear them there. If I wear them there on my hips, I can get away with them. But if I wear it on my waist, I'm not so sure about them. Right, so with the swell out yeah, that looks lovely. what does that look like? No, that looks really cool. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, I love really that. like that. Uh, with boots, not black boots. With brown I would boots. wear this with short brown boots. My yes, short brown, brown boots, boots from last year. Yeah. Yes. But you can, you know how if you don't like it on your waist or if you have a tummy, and by wearing an elasticated skirt on your tummy, you can bring it down. I've always done that, brought it down to my yeah, hips. Trini wears hers on her hips. Oh, as I, well. I much prefer skirts on my yeah. hips. Yeah. See, that feels better to you me. You see, you have to have hips to keep them up, though. Oh, right. <laughs> right. You talk point. about prices. Was I go and grab that, grab that top Pomodoro dress? Well, I have size. no idea what prices they are. Well, have you priced them? Have to take right. them off. Okay, she's priced them. Right. So let me have a look. This one is 69. So the jumper is 69, so I'm assuming it just comes in one colour, but it is gorgeous. What I am going to do is see what the washing, so hold on. The, the fleecy thing is hand wash. It's hand wash. Do not bleach, do not tumble dry. It is hand wash, ladies. Yes, but I can understand why. Right, the skirt is... The skirt's lovely. I absolutely love this skirt. The skirt is 82, um, small brown. So we have the skirt in one colourway, yes? 
one colorway yeah just right. i just got that one skirt i just it was the one that i really liked yeah and i wasn't sure about skirts because as with everything this year i just wasn't really sure what was happening right i've now got the pomodoro dress in a 16. the 14s we haven't got any at the moment we were delivered a couple short so I'm just hoping that a couple will be arriving. Oh my God, there's a word on here I haven't seen for years, spandex. Spandex, mm. there you are. So I think with this, I probably would want a 14, not a 16, because um, I am a Pomodoro 14 now. But let's have a little look. This is do not tumble dry and it's wash at 30 degrees. So that's not hand wash, you can machine wash this. I'm sure I just said it, double check that, but it's don't tumble dry. So this has got pockets, which is a big plus. Obviously I'm wearing it over my jeans, but I wouldn't. I would wear this either with sandals or with um, long boots. And of course it is one size too big for me. But I think can you just fair. open it so I can see what it looks like? Can open just undo yeah. it? I don't want to take this jumper off. <laughs> <laughs> I really you might need it in Wales this off. week. Yeah. I, I know it's going to rain all day here tomorrow. I'm not sure about the rest of the country. But anyway, we had two days of sunshine, which is fabulous. She says through gritted teeth. Did we say how much this was? I'm not sure. 69, it's... all of those oh, are 69. in the three colours. Yes. Um, Did these... you want to see the other colours, ladies? They're lovely. These are not going on the shop floor tomorrow because I'm sorting out the storage right. unit tomorrow. Um, and that's the sort of final big bit of our move, but they will go on the shop floor later this week. I've got this cork. Right, somewhere. what was I? Somebody asked me to try on the tank top, so I'll get the tank top ready. Well, finally there, but it is definitely a button through. What do you think, Donna? I think this is great. I, I love it like yeah. that. I really love it. Just, yes. Just a million ways to wear yeah, it. I really like it like so, that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Great dress. I don't think there's much stock behind it. If you want it, buy it, ladies. Right, what I'm going to do is I am going to try this on yeah. and then I'm going to put that on over the top because and then you can see. Um, you just, just need to remember to get, get your hammy at the front. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, right, forgot about that. Yeah. Have I got it at the front? Yeah. Let me just do you up. Right. So you're not going to be able to see that it's sheer at the back because I've got a vest on at the back, but it feels lovely. Sleeves are not too puffy. They're puffy without being overly That's puffy. Lovely. Love it, love it, I love it. Yeah. Oh my God, love yeah, it. love it. Um, I would probably tuck it in because I'm yes. short on the body, so things so are tuck it in and just shake. Oh my God, Donna, that yeah. is fab on you. And it's the colour that I liked because you say about leopard print, but there's different coloured leopard prints, aren't there? And I, this is when it's a colour. Well, I haven't seen the blue is leg. subtle. Oh, so I haven't seen a, a, a silver leopard. But the blue is very that. subtle. That is it? fab. That yeah. looks great. So it's really I'm nice. Sad. It's one of those tops that has more wearing appeal than hanger Good appeal. appeal. Yep. Yeah. And I thought if Karen's going to make me put the blue one on, because I would go for black, that it would go nice over this will it i don't know i think you probably need no, a uh, shirt or something underneath that because you need a neck oh you, you need, need a collar you need a ah collar. the yes. sleeves are good no it's not doing it is yeah. it yeah it's not doing it so i'm going to shirt try that on karen without the shirt um right could you undo me please yeah. so yeah loving that that's really nice so that's from pomodoro oh, you do that oh, we were going to put those boots on weren't we Oh, I just, I don't know where mine are. Have we got my size somewhere? Yeah, over here. Just down, down here. Right. I'm going to put socks on. So, I'm, I'm not, I, you'll just have to imagine I've got a shirt on, Karen. And you'll have to imagine, because this is not a great colour on me. It'll look much better on you. No, look, you can't wear it sleeveless. It definitely needs a shirt. You need a shirt. a shirt, doesn't it? Right, it definitely needs a shirt. So while Sarah's showing you the boots, I'll go and grab a shirt and try it on properly with the shirt. Okay, so these are the um, cowboy boots. 
actually probably putting the wrong um, jeans on has worked uh, because they are skinnier than my normal um, stone wash jeans because I normally wear my stone washes as a boyfriend cut so they're a lot looser these are really really comfy to wear I am orthotic woman there is space in here for my orthotic and um, I think these are going to come in at about the 60 quid mark so these are the cowboy boots and again they're going to look fab with your long um, skirts and I think they probably would work with a shorter dress as well as opaque. Is that working? That's very, that's working a lot. That's a really yeah. good pattern on you. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. I can't see some glasses on. Yeah. We'll have a little look at the mo at the video afterwards and see how lovely. We right, look. the pale blue shirts, which is what I would normally go for, are not on the shop floor. So just put that over. And guess what? We haven't put the mirror up, so we've got no idea what we're doing. <laughs> we desperately need that <laughs> checklist. We desperately need to work out where to put these bloody lights. Do we have a lighting person who can come and rescue us so we don't have to spend mm. the rest of our lives saying, can you hear us, can you see us? That looks great with that. Right, so we've that got this, great with that. we've got this in this um, grey blue and we've got it in black, but some ladies on Saturday were picking up the black in the shop thinking it was navy. So I have written on the tags that it's black. Let's tuck that in. Right, again, that's how long it is outside, but I would have to tuck it in. So I would tuck it in. I probably would have a little bit of a shirt hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I thought it looked good with the shirt oh, coming like out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just sort of turn it and have the shirt coming out at the bottom. That looked good. Yeah. Yeah. So you can turn it like that. I can't see what I'm doing, so you'll just have to go with me. There. So. That looks great. Yep. Yeah. Is that okay? Long necklace. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really um, good. The other thing I would do with this, personally, how I would wear this, is I've got a chiffon sleeve round neck blouse. I would put my chiffon sleeve, it's, very, it's a fine knit, I would put my chiffon sleeve blouse on for my arms under this, and then I would put a little um, collar oh, with it. Right, yeah. So I would layer up, so I would have the collar, the chiffon for the sleeves, and then the tank top. That's what I would do. Well, you could do that next week. Yeah, I will do we'll that. We'll have to do a little more dressing up. I'll do so, ladies, I think we're there. Let's just run through. What have we talked about? Right, we talked about jeans. We've told you that you've got to buy the Grace. Next week, we're back next Thursday. So next Thursday is dressing up. Nothing for the rest of the week here. Then on Monday the 27th, we've got a special. You know that we have an occasional series where we talk to other artichoke girls about their businesses. Um, we've done a, uh, a remote tour of Jenny's Hotel in Turkey. We had Sarah Morgan in to talk about her styling business and the fact that she's now a chalet maid. She has a little chalet at Overstrand. Well, Catherine is going to give us a tour of her beautiful house in Thompson, which is the heart of the Brex. She has her own pingo. If you don't know what a pingo is, ladies, Google it before Monday the 27th. And it's not a penguin. And it's not a penguin. And not only does she have a pingo, but she also has, they've dug out the original um, carp lake because this house has been in Catherine's family now for five or 600 years. It is truly beautiful. I know that you will want to have a good nose round with me. She does b and &B. She's taken over from her mother, Lavender, who does bread and breakfast. And also, she's just converting a goat shed into what she called um, a self-catering cottage. But her children have pointed out to her that people used to self-cater in the 20th century. In the 21st, they find bijou hideaways. So her goat uh, shed is going to be uh, a bijou hideaway. I hope she uh, calls it the goat shed. She is going to call it she the goat shed. She has to call it she the goat shed. She keeps calling it self-catering. Yeah. 
I mean, I have visions of Mamma Mia. Mama oh, yeah, Mia, no. Goat Shed. Goat Shed. Mm. And also weddings. She does weddings as well. So she is such a hoot, isn't she? She's mm. such fun. So we're going to do this on the 27th, and you can have a good peek around her home. We'll chat endlessly. And then the following Thursday, Donna and I will be doing more dressing up. So pop those dates in your diary now. Catherine on the 27th, Monday the 27th at 4.30, dressing up this Thursday, dressing up next Thursday and the Thursday afterwards. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the um, Sakana reveal and um, see you soon. Whatever you're doing this week, have a fabulous time, ladies. Bye. Bye. You keep waving whilst I'm trying to work out where it is because I've I got my glasses tried on. anything else on. Did anybody ask for anything else? Well, we'll have to do it afterwards. Yeah. We'll have to turn it off now. We can't turn it off.